Welcome to Vintage Story and welcome to a creative server that is run by Quentin P, who is WQP standing in front of me. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not used to playing creative, so Quentin has told me that we are going up here. And what did you call it? Well, there's the Goblet Tower, but maybe we'll step through the teleporter here. Okay. Well, or do you want to fly up there first? It's right there, I guess. Let's just go up there. <laughs> okay. And let me know if I'm too far ahead. <laughs> That's okay. I am trying to follow you. When you're not used to flying, it's quite an interesting experience. Oh, my word. Oh, guys, look at this. Hmm. <laughs> I think I wow. put most of the stuff on here. Do you oh. know uh, Zaldrian? Zaldrian? I don't know how to say his name. Yes, I do. He... Yeah, he's been on here a bit, and then uh, Hydro Glider has been on wow. not in this area, I don't think. But... Okay, so these are the goblins on the side of the tower. Uh, those are just gargoyles. I think there's a goblin right up here on the top. <laughs> Oh, come on. Yeah, the fly kicks. I'm always dropping out of yeah. flying mode accidentally when I'm. This is just gorgeous. Shift to go. Oh, I see <laughs> the goblin. Look at him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is he flying or is he just. Oh, he's standing mm. up on the tower. He's not manning the goblin. If you goblins. go down by this balloon, is the, uh, there's a oh, bit of an entrance. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, look at that. And these this these fences here with the studs on and the holes, are they all chiseled? Yes. Oh, my but word. Because it's in creative, I could just grab one and then, like, chisel it. Start putting it all over the place or a thing. You're definitely kind a man the... who has a fetish for net. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that netting was took a while to get just right. I'm still not happy with it, but <laughs> it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Love the faces on it too. Oh my word, guys! Look at the imagination here, and this large one—that's a balloon, isn't it? The yes. zeppelin here, I yeah. Think. Or so, whatever you want to call it. Oh, it is a zeppelin. Look at the sides, guys. Something like that. <gasps> yeah, you can go inside it a little bit. Oh, look at it with the with the. Oh my word! It's got net dripping down. It's got chains. This is fantastic. It's got a rudder, <laughs> and of course the windmill going round to steer it. Fantastic! You're a steampunk enthusiast. <laughs> That's the actually. I think thing. it was Zal's idea. I built the fortress. And just it was just kind of there and then he's yeah. like well you should make this an airship port and then sort of went from there wow gorgeous places so how many builds have you got uh there's probably two or three big ones you can go actually inside it and everything how do i get inside uh if you go Whoa. over i guess either by the hang on the big yeah I Come see. in here. Yep. Come on. Up. Uh, yeah, it's space for up and shift for down. And then sometimes yeah. you accidentally push it too many times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just, oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. There's some spots where you can't quite uh, walk under something. So you have to yeah. either push shift or go around. Look at the noteboard, guys. It's perfection. I love <laughs> it. I absolutely love it chains everywhere oh my goodness and look at this floor that's a lift it's a yeah. mechanical lift i've got it i've got it mm -hmm. wow that's terrific and i want to go in the zeppelin and those oh, are yeah. chains hanging down wow lots of noteboards i like those yeah oh, well the nice thing this. in creative once you make something like the noteboard you can yeah. just it could all over the place and not worry about it. Although Aura oh. Fury has that copy utility, which is handy. Yeah. An I-beam junction. There you go. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, some of them are names. Depends how. uh, Yeah. Depends if I. And I just bother to name the part. Yeah. (laughs) How how long have you been working on this? Uh, This area was probably, uh, I don't know, it was probably about a week or so on and off. I tend to start things and just kind of work at it when I feel like it. (laughs) It's a bit like me with building, actually. Right, where do we go from here? Oh, yeah. I'm following you on the guided tour. Oh, okay. I'll go up. Oops. So we come under here, up the ladder. Yeah, or you could just fly up, but yeah, you can go up. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. you've got one of the metal doors. I haven't found Yeah, it. I wish those were easier to come by. Yeah, me you too. Right, so um, these things are huge chains hanging down. Oh, it's very mechanical, isn't it? And the goblins, yeah. my goodness, the goblins. And what's down here? They're a little derpy, but you can only uh, do so much with the resolution. I think they look fine. What's down here? Um, this is goes out to. Oh, I see. Yes, that's the that's little docking the, station. Yeah, the airship we saw earlier. I love the stairs. Love the stairs. Oh, actually, it's all the, those stairs. They're nice, aren't they? They're just smart. Yeah. And you've got markings in the floor. How nice. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice thing. I came actually at survival. I just happened to find if you mix like the polished and the, the plain stone. Yeah. You can have a very subtle pattern. Oh. It is. Oh, it's yeah. very, very there nice. Oh, thank you. That just goes up to the tower. Oh, there. right. Actually, here's a teleport to the junkyard anyways. <laughs> uh-huh. Are we going to the junkyard or where are we going next? Are we going to Yeah, go- the junkyard's yeah. kind of like, well, you'll see. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to teleport. Shouldn't with only two people. But... Oh, and I'm going to make it daylight again. There. Did it work? No. No. <laughs> Here, I'll just do this. Uh, You're going to TP me to you? Yeah. And there. here we are. A little jarring sometimes. So this is kind of like, we just stick blocks here. And Hydro kind of made this whole place. And then we've been popular. Like if I make, well, here's from that coffee shop I've been posting. So I could just come here and then grab it. Wow. And make copies. Oh my goodness. So this is where you keep your pro formers for things. Yes, yeah, like a big Lego set or something. <laughs> oh, there's someone else who's been making sinks. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and there's a Canadian flag. Who's put the Canadian <laughs> flag there? You Are you Canadian? I am, yeah. Ah. I recognize that. Just concept. like Aladark. <laughs> yes. I didn't end up using those stairs. I've changed them. Yeah. I'll see that after. I don't know if you want to look around this area or go. I'm fascinated. I like the look go. of the. I like the look of the Japanese. Oh yeah, that's uh, hydrogliders. Hydroglider. And he well made these. Done. He made these cool uh, chests that sort of envelope the actual chests. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, that was a really cool idea. Yeah, I like those. And he's got like a stack of ingots here. Oh, my Same God. model. <laughs> it's incredible what you've got. I see you, you're laying out the different colors so that you've got color. Yeah, these, these are the palettes. So you can yeah. scoop one up and it's ready to go. Oh, that was wow. a big thing, I think. When they added that multi-material chiseling. Yeah. By popular the, uh, demand. Oh, yeah. It just took off for me then. Because you yeah. could do so much with it. Oh, my goodness. Who's up there? <laughs> I stuck a villager up there. Like, he's the pilot. Oh. The robot. Of, those are great big ro. That's a robot with guns, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you can tell what that is. 
Oh my goodness me. And look at this. I oh, love... Yeah, that, I was trying to come up with a way, like, I've seen tiling bricks all the time in, like, 2D games, and I was trying to come up with a, a set I was happy with. I have to say, this one on the right, the black one with two little eyes, looks like a brick oh, yeah. worm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think it was going to be a bat. Right. Oh. oh, look at this beautiful railing. Rusty iron fence. What's that made of? I think it's, oh, yeah, it's basalt. That's uh, Zalt's. He made those up. Right. So how many people have you got on your creative server? It's really just, uh, it's me and then Stolf comes on sometimes and Hydroglider, and I'm not sure who else. I feel like I'm missing someone. But <laughs> Aladark? Uh, I think he's visited. I... Hmm. Could we go and have a closer look at, oh gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh. With Halloween. Well, that was my very first multi chisel multi-material chisel block i did i would say that was stunningly successful and with halloween coming up i can imagine yeah. a lot of people would like that and there's a building over there whose is that oh yeah that is the model that we started for or i started well i'll show you this there's a whole town built out from this now really this was just kind of a well the start of a town <laughs> yeah so this was the start of the start, but then we just copied the whole thing and put it in a proper spot. Actually, there's one little castle way up here. Oh, I got this place too. Uh -huh. <laughs> there's stuff like all over the place. <laughs> I can see. Oh my goodness, a mini fortress. Oh, this was messing with those brick patterns yeah. again. That's fascinating. So much Oh, creativity. you're at the top one. Where are you? I was down in here. <laughs> You're inside. Oh, oh my word! There's another horrible beast in here. Yeah, I tend to do that. <laughs> this is a, this is a a wonderful place to come for Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should host a Halloween party here. Yeah, and the one up, we go straight up. Oops, hang on. Uh. Sometimes it's hard to get the flying. Yeah, it's like it, a, it's, just the right tap, and then yeah, then you can hold down God. space. Come on, oh. there you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting more used to it, but uh, oh gosh, look at that! Oh my! Yeah, this word. was just messing around with some of the blocks over at the junkyard to see how they could tile together. And once you make one or two blocks or a set, then you can just go to town with it. And, and what is the what is the black fringe at the top? That's like a, a frieze of some sort, isn't it? Yeah, it's supposed to be like Lovecraftian or something. Yeah. Fantastic. That junkyard is huge. Huge. Yeah. I'm not sure if Hydro ended up using the world that it commands for that, or if he did it all by hand. You know, or just getting a hang of the world that it commands, which is really handy. But... Yeah. Wow. Hmm? Oh gosh, there's another one. More Halloween-y stuff, yeah. This now, that is... one's actually using creative blocks for that pure black. Ah, oh, you can't get the pure black normally. No. Someday maybe they'll add dyes or something. Yeah, why not? And an altar. I, to... I love yeah. these little windows with the- Actually, um... the windows were hydrogliders. These ones here, like the little yeah. flower shape. I They're very pretty. I can tell you're Monster Man and he does the pretty stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if I jump well, off this If we this fly mountain... back down to... Not sure what your view distance is like. If we I go back down... lost you, let alone junkyard. anything else. Do I go... Oh, here I... Oh, where are you? There. 
Did you TP me to you? <laughs> yeah. It's just easier. Either. It is with my sense of direction. <laughs> right, where are we going uh, now? We want to try the... Oh, yeah, there's only... This is the other main area, the seaside. So if you stand down here, it should hopefully teleport you. But if not, I'll just bring you over. It should only take, like... Two or three seconds standing on there. Yeah, I'm sort not, of like a TL. I'm not sure I'm actually standing. Oh yeah, maybe if you're flying, maybe that's why. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just teleport you. <laughs> oh. That's now. Oh goodness me. Now, this is I've probably spent the most time. This has probably been at least two weeks. And Hydro and Zolda have been doing a bunch. Oh, too. guys, look at the benches. Yeah, that's Zolda's bench. Oh. So I put them everywhere. <laughs> Lampers, beautiful benches. Show me. I love the market stall. How did you make the roof? Uh, that is two stones. Is that creative? Yeah, they're creative. <laughs> oh, they're creative blocks. Yeah. You've even got drains in the road. Now that's a level of detail most of us can't even aspire to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was starting, like this originally was going to be like a darker Victorian city. But then it ended up being like this touristy and seaside sort of town. A waste bin. Yeah. Another <laughs> level of detail. Let's go up the road, guys. Yeah. Now this road was like pure hell. Oh, look at these Trying flowers. to come up with this. Yeah, those are hydrogliders. He came up with those. Those are actually all survival blocks, too. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. There's something to end, aim for, guys. So what was the problem Take with the some road? Take some Oh, this quarter block uh, elevation. And then I have this. You can see the road's made of, like, I don't know what, four or five blocks. Yes. So to, until I got down the pattern, it was very tedious, and I kept doing it wrong and then having to start over <laughs> it's very beautiful. But it all worked out and you've got signs ale this is a pub yes what's it called ale i guess <laughs> i never named it oh we have to have a name and you've all got the pub tenders in i like the little yeah. bar stools my goodness Oh, and we can sit out here, look over the lake. That's perfection. A sail from the Canadian flag. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love it. And this balcony. Also, you've got coloured glass in here, coloured lanterns. Oh, it's so pretty. What is this block here? Churchstone bricks. Oh, the churchstone bricks are nice, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, there's quite a big pallet of stuff you can get even survival. yeah oh absolutely and is this is the painting that's so rare isn't it fish in the rain it could be it's not rare and creative <laughs> <laughs> yeah is that the one that you have to find on your ground or something yeah it's a, it's a very rare one you can buy all the others but that one i think you have to buy there's marco okay oh all the guys oh that's right they finished this up here uh huh. That was just Oops. dead space, but they made a little vegetable garden up here for the, I guess for the pubs cooking needs. <laughs> oh, and herbs! Look at this, saffron. Yeah, we I've haven't never got... seen those in survival. No sage, saffron, mint. We need these chamomile, cilantro, which, yeah mint the saffron's beautiful thyme sage basil i i grow a lot of these in my garden why don't we <laughs> have these in creative oh i'm sure they're working on it i'm sure they are and cabbages of course we have and this one is that's no, not what a brand last that? it's a maple sapling uh this is lovely. And guys, look at this beautiful, beautiful chiseling around the edges. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving this. Oh, 
I've come off the roof. Where are we going? <laughs> Wherever. And this Whatever wonderfully slanted building, what is this? That's the coffee this house. Is... Oh, now this is where I'd spend my life. I'm completely addicted to coffee. Yeah. I love it. Oh, a coffee house. Oh, how nice. And now, the problem with almost all of my builds is I don't tend to plan them ahead, so I end up with weird problems with the building or whatever because I've just started throwing it up and then. What's the problem with it? Oh, well, there's nothing in particular with this one, but there's. I usually paint myself in the corner, I guess, because I haven't thought ahead to how things are going to be laid out. I think that makes for a better building. What is this? A well. This is uh, at oh. Solgrin's uh, park. He made all this. I've seen pictures of this. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's and, really lush and. And, and this railing is all chiseled, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a two part plus the corners. Yeah. I mean, that's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And who's that? I You've guess got... a used bookseller. <laughs> <laughs> You've got traders everywhere. I think he made those everywhere. books too. Oh my word, this is so pretty. I'm loving this. Absolutely loving it. This is our library. Oh. That Salt and I kind of built. Yes. Oh, that guy's still stuck there. He's been stuck there for ever. So, yes. It looks great. Absolutely great. Apart from okay, the cat. There. Apart from the candles. I love the books. They're beautifully done. And is it done with one slab chiseled with several? I think that's one block. Yeah. Yeah. And so many different blocks in it. That's amazing. Yeah. How many colors are in here? Who's... Looks like five. You've yeah. Got... He's stuck up there. I'm trying to figure out if I need to put him out of his misery or. Well, I got a trader stuck when I couldn't do a thing. He just. Have to... Oh, there's a, there's a, there we go. Has he moved? Yeah, he moved. I haven't been up here in a while. <laughs> so what's up here? Apart from a uh, trader. It's Oops. Just storage. Oh, it's just storage, yeah. Oops, I'll get there in a minute, guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And more of these beautiful, beautiful basalt skull plates. Yeah, yeah it's the same ones. It's a nice thing as you get more pieces, you can... That's what the junkyard thing sort of is. You yeah. can just go grab them and... And slot them together. Well, this guy has no face. Well, I I see a face. I just see like a blue slab. Nope, I've got a face. And she's very pretty, Farhad. <laughs> oh, mine just says trader, artisan. And solid blue face. Nope. <laughs> huh. We see life differently. See you well, maybe she's shy about showing her face to you. <laughs> I love it. I would say one thing. You've got a real fire risk with candles in a library. Yes. <laughs> Do you know what? I absolutely love the colours here. This building here with the peridot and the aged wood. Don't they go well together? I hadn't realised. Yeah, that's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, how good those two textures are. What sort of building are we in now? Uh, this has no defined purpose at this point. It's just one I started making. Same with the one next to it. There's nothing yeah. in there. It's a, be it's a beautiful, beautiful combination, though. Not everything has... I think to... this will be like a police station or a jail or something, but... Yeah, it's got that look, hasn't it? It's got that sort of yeah. solid look. Police station, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful. It's just so amazing, just looking at the fences. Different fence here, guys. Just seeing what you can do. 
Oh yeah, there's and like this gold. is another different fence. Yeah, oh. I th well, that's the same. That's the top half of his fence, and this is the bottom half of of his old fence. Oh, I see. So you have two mm -hmm. s bottom and a top, and then you can mix and match. I love it. And what's in the sail room? I like sails. There's much in there. It just has a a pile of books oh. and some pencils. Oh, well, this was supposed to be like a like a shipping place or whatever where you drop off your got a rabbit outside packages. Yep. Oh, I see. Oh, it's the post office. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Canada flag doesn't really fit. But yeah. I made these. These signs are pre-made with a couple of colors, so I could make signs. Because it takes a little while to get the thin one-block plate. I can't even imagine the amount of time you spend on the chiseling. And look at this, guys. Just a mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful shelter over a bench. That's gorgeous. And you've picked a lovely place. The sense of emptiness and space is quite mm -hmm. stunning. And then round here, what's this? Uh, that looks like, like, I think it's supposed to be a garden, but I don't, we never really, these are hydro gliders, uh, yeah. planters. And I started a beach. They're supposed to be beach blankets, but. They look beach blankety to me. And you've got a sand yeah, castle are... and a bucket and a spade. How lovely. How absolutely charming. Oh, and look at this. Maple planks. Oh, my word. Oh, my goodness. That's a beautiful, beautiful bridge. This is lovely. And this here. Oh, gosh, look at these guys with the little squares on. Yeah, that's the same one that one castle with the little design the little fresco thing on the outside it's the yeah. same blocks you just went and grabbed them it's absolutely fascinating absolutely fascinating to see you know what how much chiseling you can do and what you can do with it mm -hmm. and what you can do in creative you've got to be a, someone who loves building and creation to be in a world yeah, like it's, this. Oh, it's a lot of fun to do this. And then yeah, kind of takes the place where I'd be like doing 3D modeling and stuff. Instead, I just lay with this now. <laughs> <laughs> right, where to next? Having I been... think this is pretty close to seeing, I think you've seen almost everything. Most of the shops are empty. It used to be a That's okay. COVID or something. I mean, <laughs> This is going to be stunning. And does everybody work on it? Uh, yeah, just little bits and pieces here and there. Whoever. Yeah. But that's what makes the difference, I think, because if you're by yourself, you have one sort of view of um, creativity. But certainly when you visit other people and you see other Oh, yeah, ones, you get, like, Zalt's fences and, yeah. and uh, his benches are, like, everywhere now. And it kind of gives you ideas to of other things you can do. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Well, and this over here, is this a pair of binoculars? It is, isn't it? Oh, Look. yeah, those Look. things that are everywhere in touristy yeah. places. <laughs> they are indeed. And you've even got steps so that they can go with different heights. Of course, we're all one height, aren't we? I'd forgotten that. Yeah, we were trying to have been terraforming the area yeah. a bit. Oh, it's lovely, absolutely lovely. Really gorgeous. I can't get over the detail and the just the whole way this has been built. And the thing is that, yeah, I know that you've chiseled a lot of it, but some of the combinations, mm. um, you know, even the most basic chiseling, you could put together a nice column like this on a yeah, line. Yeah, if you bring up here. Yeah. Your creative inventory that you 
you should have now like you could just see all of the like there's so many blocks in oh i know i know story. i i was putting teleporters into my own sort of world and yeah, when i saw handy, yeah. when i saw this inventory i just thought oh my goodness it's so tempting but the thing about playing in survival is if you add even one block from creative apart from a teleporter oh yeah you've kind of ruined everything yes you have yes <laughs> well, it's the same with me like i i play on well aura fury and everything there is pure survival yeah mind you uh, aladark's provided me all my <laughs> tools there <laughs> yeah i tell you aladark and strome have absolutely <coughs> spoilt me. Oh, rotten. yeah, there. And the thing is, you and I both live in the inn. We we actually live yeah. very close to each other, don't we, on Aura Fury? Yeah. I know, because I've been admiring a lot of your gorgeous chiseling work. I'm just oh, loving thanks. this. But I tell you something, I'm going to copy your colour scheme with that building that is um, the Peridot. The two woods? Yeah, with, oh, yeah right. the dark wood and the peridot, I think, is wonderful. Oh, I know that. And also, there, I, back to yeah, daylight. that's <laughs> lovely. And also, I think that I hadn't realised the possibilities of church stone bricks. They've got a very, very good texture to them. Yeah, well, chert is, like, really good for rust, too, and metal. Yeah. Between chert and basalt, you can make very old, rusty iron yeah that's your combination isn't it chert and basalt and what's this here yeah. you've got a frog oh yeah that's like a recreation of my basically the first chisel thing i made i think <laughs> there's probably one or two around uh, on chrome tech for official public test server <laughs> but not in multicolor. wow now is this a whitelisted server can anyone join if somebody wanted to come and be on your In theory, server. right now you could join, and you should join as creative guest, which means you could fly around and look. Yeah. And then they could just go on the Discord and message me or whatever to get access to. Yeah. Build. I had it yeah. wide open for a while, but it's. I guess I lost my nerve to keep it like that. <laughs> I. Because think... someone could come in creative and wreck everything. I think that's the one thing everyone, you know, I mean, I, for men, well, I still do run a, a Minecraft realm and we've always, oh yeah, I had one for a while too. Yeah. And we've always kept it very tight. It's only a very small number of people because basically we were so afraid of having a griefer on and you, yeah. once you get something like that on a server, it just takes all the fun away. Oh yeah. We had, I ran one for about two years. And we started as a bedrock server, and it was fine till one day we logged in and everything like was covered in lava and everything else. And then we found out that bedrock backups don't work. So, oh god! After that, we that was the end of our first season, I think. Yeah. <laughs> then we switched to Java, but I kind of burned out on Minecraft, and I don't know. There's something. Once I'm in Vintage Story for a while, it's hard to go back to Minecraft. It's because Minecraft is very cartoony, and Vintage Story is a very adult game. Yeah. It, I think even, like, the food spoilage and stuff, it just adds a little... Oh, I think it adds a lot. I think, yeah. um... I mean, I, didn't, I, I always, re you know, wasn't sure about the food and the seasons, but they, it's added a huge amount. Well, this is fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think Thank you seen... for that absolutely fabulous tour. I mean, can I get up for one last shot? No, I'll get you to send me a decent screenshot. That's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, well, thanks for coming out. Here, I'll give you one more view of... <laughs> <laughs> one more This view. is called Jurassic Dirt Park right now. Ah! I thought I'd make dinosaurs, but they're really big and hard to make, so... Oh, that's gorgeous. Is that the only one you've made? I never made? got past that. What's that? Is that the one you made just the one? Yeah. Well, you can see some other heads sticking up. I didn't even bother making their bodies. I think that's wonderful. 
Oh, I see. I yes. I I'm... think Zelda added, he added some spines and claws and stuff. <laughs> you have definitely. At one point, I, my daughters into it. I was going to make a Jurassic Park book that has. Been... <laughs> <laughs> Do they play with you? Uh, not vintage story, but we have to leave Minecraft. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Look at that beautiful detail. It's got teeth. It's got an art. Yeah, this they're is kind of weird. fantastic. <laughs> well, the dinosaur teeth. And he's even right. got a long tail. Well, you'd certainly save the best, or some of the best to last. I loved it all. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, thanks. It was fun. Okay. Uh, I'll see you around the inn, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet you in the inn. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.